Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here and well it's another little update from the hotel and this um, should be, should be our last day, well it will be our last day in this hotel because we will either fly off tomorrow, September the 11th, or we'll go home if <laughs> it's been cancelled but I haven't heard any more cancellations, so it looks like it will be all systems go tomorrow. So the up latest is I got in touch with them today and um, at the uh, travel agents and they said, oh, um, we've checked you in. If you go to the desk when you get in, they'll give you your boarding passes. That's all you'll need. So I said, are you sure? Because I've always had a ticket. <laughs> So we shall see, we shall see. Um, I'm not absolutely 100% convinced and I don't like the idea of being in a foreign country without a ticket either. But the thing is, my return flight should be fine. So that ticket should be fine. It's just the one out. Well, I said, you know, anything goes wrong, I'll be on the phone. But we shall see. I don't like the idea. Um, I always... Even though you can get e-tickets and all that, I'll print them out so I've got them in my hand. I'm old school that way. It's like I need this thing, this tangible piece of evidence and um, never mind. Um, so today we took our dirty washing because obviously while well, we've been here for three days, we've used stuff. Didn't want to pack it back in the suitcase. So we, we parceled it up into some laundry bags and we took it to the people who have our car. Now, unfortunately, it was in a different compound um, because there's one just over there. And uh, unfortunately, that means we can't get the thing that weighs your cases. I bought it especially, and, and Gary put it in a bag and then put it in the boot of the car and shut the car. And then when we got out of the car, didn't realise it wasn't in one of the carry-ons. So, yeah, I've got to buy a new one <laughs> when I get to the airport just to make sure but we've put so much stuff in that giving it to them and they're going to take it to our car and I just hope they don't lose it but never mind um we've taken stuff out so they should weigh less so that's that's at least you know one good thing but we'll find out when we get the little weighty thing um I asked if I could take a handbag as well and as long as it will fit under the seat the answer is yes so I have to really kind of condense it down what I thought I'd do is I cleared out one of the carry-ons and that's completely empty I've shoved everything that's you know shoes wise and stuff like that in the other one and all the toiletries will have to go in the actual cases so if I put any more in the carry-on I can and that will leave one carry-on completely empty so that if they say that bag's too big, love, I'll just stick it inside it. Not anymore. But apparently you're allowed a check-in bag, a carry-on bag, and one personal piece of luggage. So the way I look at it is I have a laptop bag, which is one of those personal pieces of luggage, and a handbag. So if worst comes to the worst, Gary can carry on the laptop bag and I can maybe have a, you know, the handbag if it can be empty and squashed down. So there, if not, it can go in the flight bag. So there you go. I think I'm fine. I think I'm sorted <laughs> regarding all that. It's just whether I'll have a ticket. Well, not a ticket, but whether I can get away without having a ticket. <sighs> I've been really fretting as well about the flight. I've been really, 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 really bad. I keep imagining all sorts of things going wrong with it. And there's this little part of me that says, you always used to get omens. You always used to get premonitions. Perhaps you shouldn't be going. But then that part of me thinks you always think like this. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe I wouldn't feel quite so bad if it wasn't September the 11th. All I can think of is, because it is, hopefully they'll be extra vigilant. Extra, extra vigilant. So the good thing about having lighter suitcases is more room for yarn, isn't it, on the way back? 
just in case. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I have to get one of them wayy things because all the toiletries, well, not all of them, but most of them will be empty. So yeah, that, that's that's one good thing, isn't it? Possibly more more space for yarn and more weight for yarn. There's things that I could just throw away. Like I said, I don't really want those sandals after this holiday. I don't find them at all comfortable. But if I can bring them back, I, I will. But we'll have to see. There's things I can lose <laughs> in favour of yarn. Maybe we'll see. So today um, there's football on TV. So we might be up here watching it on devices or we can take them down and watch it in the bar. But at least it's going to be the last day of being bored. I've been doing a little bit of crochet today. I've been doing some squares. What I figured I'd do is for the flight, I would make lots of lots of squares that just need the white on. So I haven't got to keep changing colour. I can just keep, just do all the white bits. I haven't really got that far yet. I mean, I might do some more later, but um, I figured if I just left the, the white rounds, it would be easier. I've also got my book and my earbuds, so I can listen to music, I can read, I can do uh, crochet, and I can scream on the inside all the way there. Do a Marge Simpson, if you ever saw it, if it's her hair, and all through the plane, from the outside, all the windows you see are going, let me off, 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 let me off. That'd be me, possibly. Do you know, I was fine last time. I don't really. Perhaps it's because, you know, I was there with so much family. You just think, you know, you're all together. We weren't, we weren't all together, but you know what I mean? Maybe that had something to do with it. Don't know. Don't know. Not looking forward to getting in the seat. I just feel like it's going to be a bit snug. Last time I lost weight. This time... Not so much, but we'll see. Oh, flying guys, I really don't like it. Anyway, everything seems to be all right at the moment anyway, if that's true about the the ticket anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, we'll be going home again, you know. I'll tell you what, after this, I'm definitely going in boats in future. I watched Titanic last night. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with their disaster. And then I, <laughs> I watched Titanic. I said to that, Gary, yeah, if we did a cruise, <laughs> mm, maybe not. <laughs> I've got to straighten this mop. I had to wash it today. So, yeah. I need to feel like I've only just done it. I've got to do it again. Typical, still a bit wet underneath the scrunchy. But it does feel a bit, I don't know if the water's hard around here or something, but it doesn't feel as nice as the last time I did it. And yet I left a treatment on for ages. Should be nicer, just saying. So I'm kind of looking around thinking we've got things that we need to eat and use up by tomorrow. And uh, will we get it done? I'm not sure. The other thing is, I found my tea bags. Poor little guy who did the rooms didn't take them and throw them away after all they were. I'd stuffed them in one of the suitcases. Just I must have thought, oh, that looks a bit like rubbish. I'll throw it in there. So uh, I found them today. I could have been drinking them, but never mind. I've got I've got two out for for today, just in case I want tea. When I went for breakfast, there I was stuffing tea bags in my in my little bag so I really really hope that these guys put that stuff in the car because that's where they all are so my illicit tea bags will go missing otherwise and it will like it never happened and I'll if I get any in the morning I'll just put them in the case I can't wait that much it's not like I've got about four packets or anything or did I I don't know, but I was stuffing them in there this morning, like nobody's business. 
and I do have a fair few, but as I say there, they're now in the office of the place that has our, our dirty washing in the bag with it. They're all in, in you know, they're in a, I, I got loads and loads of like laundry bags and I wrapped those in one bag and washing in another bag. I tried to make it so all they could see was washing. <laughs> they look through it. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. And uh, yeah. So we streamed Titanic last night through the through my phone to the TV. And uh, I've got tons of data. My, it, it rolls over, plus I can give some to Gary. But when I looked, they said, you have a lot of data. And, yeah, <laughs> I don't use it because our signal is so bad where we live that if the internet ever went down, I couldn't really use my phone to upload anything because it's such a bad area. So it just kind of accumulates. Anyway, so I, we watched that and um, at the end of the movie, it buffered. And when it come back, it was out of sync. And I paused it and I think I made it a bit worse. So if I said this, then after a while they went, and I said this, you know, it was kind of a little delay. It was, you could you could see her mouth the words anyway, you know, like whatever it was she was saying. Plus, I think I know the, the movie more or less off by heart, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, so we watched that and it, then we went to bed. So it was like, wasn't wasn't as boring yesterday and today we went out for a little walk because when I rang these um, people who have a car they said well if you walk just um, to the travel lodge we're in we're in the same grounds and I thought we did pass the travel lodge so I asked reception I said how far is it they went, it's, it's just literally over there but you've got to go around the roadway and you'll see it and uh, then as we went past, there was a Londis and a Greggs. So um, we got some water because the one thing we haven't had is water while I've been here. We've had tea, coffee um, and, you know, drinks in the bar, but no actual water. I like a glass of water at bed and things like that. So I, I did have one, but it's bathroom tap. So you don't know if it's the best water to drink. You think it must be, but... Now we've got a nice big bottle of water each, so at least we found there was a shop not too far away. So the weather's been a bit gloomy today. It's not rained, but it has been a bit murky looking. So to be honest, I can't wait to see the back of uh, the way the weather has turned. It wasn't cold when we went walking, but it was just horrible now. It's just overcast and, and gloomy. You never know. Might be in sunnier climbs tomorrow. Never know. I'm just giving up thinking that that's definitely going to happen. Never had anything like this happen to me. People keep saying you're taking it so well. You're still laughing and smiling and joking. And well, you've got to, haven't you, really? It's either laugh or cry, really, in life when things don't really pan out. And there's no point to the stresses of it. You know, why get yourself all bent out of shape? You can't change it. You can't change what life throws at you, can you? It's just, you've got to take it and make the best. So that's what we've been doing. So, really run out of things to tell you because um, I'm stuck in this little room. Actually, it's got a lovely bath. I said to Gary today, I mean, I'd love to take the bathroom with me because it's got one of those showers where it comes out the roof I don't normally like those, but it's perfect for washing your hair. And having a shower, you don't have to have it blasted in your face. So, you know, I quite like it. And the bath is nice and big. And um, I really liked it. It's oh, just perfect. Just the right amount of shelving. Mm, I'm kind of jealous of the bath. Never mind. One of these days we'll get our bathroom done. So thank you for watching. I know I'm a boring mood, but I'm stuck in this blooming hotel room with nothing. I could show you the crochet, but it's the same as the sh crochet I did yesterday. So it's yeah, not really much else to show you. 
But um, I did crochet some little ties for the top of our cases, but I really wish I brought that yarn with me because I did it with um, Ice Yarn Picasso. I figured, you know, it's bright and cheerful. I see it coming a mile off, but I only did it around the top bit. And I suddenly thought, you know, it's not easy to spot. Not going to be easy to spot at all. So I wish I'd brought it and I could have made more and jazzed them up a little bit more. But I didn't. I left it home. Anyway, thank you for watching. And thank you for all your lovely messages. And, you know, um, <laughs> hopefully be off tomorrow. Yeah. Last day of the menu here, so... I think we've just about, you know, after today, there wouldn't be anything else we'd want to eat off the menu. So I'm really, really glad it's the last one. I feel like all I've done since I've been here is eat, but it's not true. You only have your breakfast and then we go for our meal. But yesterday, they so said they do this set meal. Um, and the first day we, we both had that. And it, the, there are two, some choices on it, but it's quite limited. And the guy that brought brought us the menus he said it's okay if you're not hungry so I said well there are three courses it should fill you up and it did it was fine but um, I could see what he meant yesterday because we thought the food would be the same and so we ordered a starter um, a main and dessert and to be honest with you I was so immobile and uncomfortable all evening I really wish that once, you know, I hadn't ordered the dessert and I could have ordered it if I wanted it, you know. But to be honest, I could have made do with the starter and the dessert and not had the meal or just had the meal and nothing else. So uh, now I know that the actual menu is such a big kind of difference. I won't make that mistake again. Anyway, I was going, and as Jane would say, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't linger again, would it? <laughs> so wish us luck tomorrow. Well, today for you, by the time you um, watch me saying all this, I will, if you watch it as early as I put it up, um, we'll be making our way to the airport. If you watch it a bit later, I'll either be in the air or on my way home, but we'll have to see. So I think they'll get us there, but then we'll probably be stuck, stuck in Vegas, unable to get home without anywhere to stay. That's probably what will happen, you know, sleeping in this airport, I guess. Anyway, take care, everyone. Hopefully the next time I make a video, it'll be one way or another we'll know what's going on see you soon bye for now